Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader and in this video we'll be taking a look at Tesla stock and doing some technical key analysis and this is another part in my series of uh, my me shorting into Tesla and all in all um, I have been going over in my series of videos which you know feel free to check it out is you know and I'll leave the link of that series in the video description as well and all in all you know what I have been you know trying to um, get on the side of the short because this is the you know the thesis that on the swing side looks like can come into fruition just because the chart is providing that also please remember none of this is any financial advice and, and is only for educational purposes also please hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos let's that with that let's begin so the very first thing for the new viewers i want to mention that the red line is 200 days moving average yellow is 20 days and purple is 20, 50 days moving average and i'm on my daily chart and you know what we have been seeing with tesla uh, these days is it has ran into these resistance at around 217 214 dollars and um so at 208 dollars these have been this range 208 to 217 has been a big test of this range and my thesis has been that tesla after running so much of exhaustion of 100 and 120 dollars it's due a reversal because also because of the fact this we are running into this 200 days moving average so regardless of any pullback as long as stock is getting closer to this 200 days moving average showing these resistance while we also have these lot of brick wall resistance right from here as i'm drawing on my screen back from 2021 uh, down here as well these are support right now two things uh two peaks but then there are these resistances so that being said like there are so many uh, cases that i can you know my thesis is based on so many data points resistance levels that it's a swing trade uh, side of the trade that could be taken. So I'm building my short position. I did take some profit yesterday on my swing side because my average was up now after I averaged around this 200 days moving average. And I'll keep averaging or adding more to my short position at any time price gets closer to 200 days moving average. Um, also based on the price action, if it's, as I always covered, if it forms ladder steps and starts going up, that's a dangerous sign, which means it can then easily break out because that means buyers and sellers are settling down at certain type of price and every time it's slowly and slowly going up which means they are fine buying at that price and sellers are you know not stepping in that much right so but all in all um extra confirmation on so right now i'm only looking at this as a pullback however we do have to see that this is now the double top it's kind of forming while it's resisting at 200 days moving average and these horizontal lines being the key levels definitely break of 188 dollars key level is what will give us the confirmation of that the double bot sorry double top neckline has been broken and then we know that tesla can easily get to the next support level at 166 dollars and also can even go to the all the way to this uh gap which we have 145 154 dollars eight dollars to nine dollars gap also once it breaks this yellow line which is the 20 days moving average you can also easily expect the stock to trace back all the way down to 50 days moving average. Um, now, that being said, also please make a note that it's very normal for the stock to do a little bit of bounce back when it from the upside test the 20 days moving average. And if, if Tesla still keeps slowing down or keep testing this 20 days moving average or $188 level, it will break. So the sooner it breaks or the closer it stays to $188 level, the better it would be for on for the bears that will have extra confirmation that stock can plummet and after investor day i don't think there will be enough catalyst for the stock to push up um because it's always you know um buy the rumor sell the news right um however if the stock is keeps making these you know higher highs higher lows even if in these pullbacks if it goes up makes another pullback but to the you know smaller uh downside it goes up again then smaller downside up goes again smaller downside then yes it will break out so uh, accordingly bull case will determine bearish case will determine right now bearish case is in higher probability than the bullish case your bullish case will comes in pro in higher acceptance once it can get over this 200 days moving average and establish itself over it uh, right now that doesn't looks that it's heading in that direction but something to keep a note of now let's jump quickly onto our four hour chart and let's take a look at how the stock has been behaving there. So clearly, you know, this level of, you know, 197 to 100 and 
you know, $90 or $189 is a huge consolidation. This is where the fight was on between bulls and the bears. And when price broke out, you can easily expect price may take a lot, little bit longer to break down below this. Only after investor day, maybe it can break below. But if it breaks below in this level before investor day, then I think it's going to be all hell break loose. Um, Tesla then is bearish confirmed. But this looking at this amount of consolidation does proves that there will be pullbacks when price tests to try to test this level. You can see even today how one of the candles formed. It did go down, but then it was bought back up. And this candle also, you can see how it bought back up. Then this huge, you know, green candle came. So right now, you know, even the thesis is setting up more on the bearish side, but it's too early to say that we have confirmation on it. I would still say it's uh, it could be pullbacks. We, we have to break the neckline of $188 to be confirmed that Tesla is now heading on the downside. And this is what, you know, also I want to mention, as you can see already on four hours chart, this yellow line is being rejected, which is the 20 days moving average. Now, here is the importance of daily chart, four hour chart, and also hourly chart. Big, more many traders uses this so and swing traders uses it right so as soon as we start seeing rejections even on the hourly chart these levels rejections that shows that the you know side is changing momentum is changing and things may be set to go to on the downside so please expect accordingly i would highly suggest if you are in profit book your profit don't wait until investor day you just never know you know how things are sold off or you know what happens um and if you are on the bearish side i mean these are the areas you can start building a position in and then accordingly adjust the risk management on it right but again none of this is any financial advice guys this is only for education purposes uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this video guys i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please hit the like and subscribe with that i'll see you in my next video guys take care bye